Welcome everyone to our webcast. Today we'll be discussing the integration of ClickView and Salesforce.com and how that integration can enhance your customer relationship management. As, as Cass said, my name is Tom Yeager and I am joined today by my colleague Kelsey Dietz. We are both business intelligence and analytics consultants with Thurgood Associates with experience in delivering enterprise ClickView solutions for our clients. We are both based out of the U.S. with Kelsey in Philadelphia and myself in New York. A quick rundown of today's objectives. Um, first, we're going to look at how we can incorporate data from Salesforce into a ClickView application in order to improve the user's ability to analyze and digest the data. Then, we'll show how to embed the application back into Salesforce so it can be shared across the organization with additional Salesforce functionality. And then finally, we'll discuss including additional data sources into some, the same application in order to enhance the application and analytic capabilities with sales data. A quick look at the agenda. We'll start with a brief introduction to Thorogood. Then Kelsey is going to break down the different details of the individual offerings from ClickView and Salesforce. After that, we'll break out into three different demonstrations that will show the possibilities of integrating Salesforce into ClickView and vice versa. We'll be using a data set based on pharmaceutical information for these demos. However, the concepts and techniques shown can be used in any industry to address a wide range of business issues. Finally, and if time permits, we'll have some time for you all to submit the questions in the chat pane, and then we'll actually try and answer them on the call. Without any further ado, though, let's get started. Thurgood is a specialist consulting firm specializing in business intelligence and analytics for almost 30 years now. While we do partner with a number of different technology platforms, we are an independent consulting firm. These partner relationships allow us to deliver top-of-the-line solutions, while our independents allow us to focus on the specific needs of our clients, no matter what their technology requirements may be. We operate as a single global organization across our offices in the U.S., in New York and Philadelphia, as I mentioned, in London, and in Bangalore, India. This allows us to serve our global clients around the world, wherever they may be. We do provide end-to-end -end services meeting all business needs from things such as business intelligence analytics strategies and technology roadmaps through to the training and adoption of technologies and applications. However, the bulk of our work does come from the design and development and delivery of these applications, such as the one that we'll demo today. We also do offer an analysis and support services around these applications after they've been created. Our consultants are recruited for and trained to possess a unique set of skills that allow them to understand the business in which we operate, as well as the technical skills to work with the different technology platforms in order to deliver superior solutions in terms of usability and performance. This combination of skills gives our consultants the ability to get the most out of every solution. Our clients listed here are some of the leading organizations in the insurance, pharmaceutical, banking, and consumer packaged goods industries, with a few listed here. We take special pride in some of the long-standing relationships we've fostered and maintained with some of these clients that we've shown. These organizations are large and complex businesses, and we utilize our intimate industry knowledge as well as our deep technical capabilities to deliver successful solutions to their unique business challenges. As I mentioned, we are an independent firm that does partner with many different technologies, and I have a few listed here on the screen. You'll notice that we do partner with both niche players as well as the larger BI standards, such as Microsoft and SAP. In the bottom row, you'll see Rombi, which is a specialist in the mobile reporting space that was just acquired by SAP, as well as Revolution Analytics, which specializes in R analytics that was just acquired by Microsoft as well. And today, of course, we're going to be focusing specifically on our partnerships with Click and Salesforce. With this cross-platform knowledge and partnership across all the different technologies, we develop well-rounded expertise that allows us to successfully integrate tools together, such as ClickView and Salesforce, which we'll show uh, in just a little bit. A bit more about our specific partnerships with Click and Salesforce. We've been a Click partner since 2009, and we've delivered numerous solutions since then across industries specializing in end-to-end -end integration of connecting Click with enterprise data systems to help companies get the most value of new and existing data in their organization. We do have more than 60 consultants with experience delivering Click solutions, and quite often what we're doing with Click is integrating it with other technologies 
such as data platforms, or to source data into Click, such as SAP BW, Teradata, or Oracle. Or, alternatively, we can integrate Click with other platforms where we push content out into things like SharePoint or Salesforce, like we'll see today. We're actually very excited about our recent partnership with Salesforce just back in 2015. We are a registered consulting partner, but we're focused more on integration than customer relationship management implementation. As you can see, we have a lot of experience integrating ClickView with many different technologies. Like many of our other webcasts, today's demonstrations are inspired by our clients and the business problems they face. We are going to demonstrate the excellent synergies that can be achieved by integrating data visualization capabilities of ClickView with the CRM software of Salesforce. We hope that by the end of this presentation, you will experience and understand the possibilities that this collaboration of tools provides, and then you'll be potentially start to see areas of your business where such capabilities can be useful. With that now, I'm actually going to turn it over to Kelsey, who will open a quick poll and then get started on the specific offerings of ClickView and Salesforce. Thanks, Tom. So before we get into the specifics, we wanted to answer some fundamental questions like what Salesforce can do as a standalone product, what additional benefits ClickView has to offer, and what you can gain by pulling data from Salesforce into ClickView. To get started, we wanted to open a poll to gauge your familiarity with these tools. Uh, feel free to fill it out and remember to ask any questions you might have in the chat panel as we move forward. So I'm going to go ahead and open that poll now. Uh, you'll see uh, it's just one question, a single select, so uh, feel free to answer it as we move through the rest of the presentation today. So it looks like we've got some answers coming in, which is really great to see. Uh, Many people appear to be uh, not currently using the tools uh, or a ClickView user or a Salesforce user individually, but you want to get a little bit more uh, out of using the tools together. So that's really exciting because that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Um, however, first, of course, we have to talk about the two products individually. Uh, so let's take a look at the dashboarding and reporting tools that Salesforce can provide first. Uh, and I'll keep the poll open in case there's anybody who wants to uh, answer it a little bit later. All right, uh, so on the slide, you'll see two snapshots of Salesforce.com. Uh, this is a dashboard that we created, and one thing you'll notice is that the Salesforce.com look and feel is different between the two. The top left aesthetic is called Salesforce Lightning. It's a refreshed user experience that came out late August of last year. We won't get into too much detail regarding Lightning or other facets of Salesforce's product suite in today's webcast, but if you would like more information, please reach out to us in the Q&A pane or via email, and we'd be happy to speak further. So this is a Salesforce dashboard. It allows you to display reports you create as visual cards, but it has its limitations. The layout is very structured, and the visuals are relatively basic, with little ability to customize. Now, you may be a user who has never seen reports or dashboards in Salesforce before, or you've seen them but found it difficult to create them, or maybe you already have a business intelligence tool like ClickView and you'd like to use it to its full extent, utilizing your Salesforce data. So let's talk about what using ClickView to its full extent could mean. ClickView offers many benefits when analyzing accounts data, sales data, and many other types of information you might encounter in your business. It has the power of in-memory data modeling, which increases performance over constantly running queries against an external data model. It also gives your developers more freedom in their ability to create customized reports with unique functions and capabilities, which we will explore shortly. The data model also allows you to combine multiple different data sources into one cohesive structure, giving you the opportunity to drill into your data using guided analytics. So now we want to put the benefits of both of these products together. Let's take a look at using Salesforce.com as a data source to fuel our ClickView insights. So ClickView allows you to custom connect to Salesforce.com using the same interface you would use for importing other databases. It involves downloading an executable package from Click.com that will allow you to connect to your Salesforce account. After adding in a connector string, you can extract fields from all the tables in your Salesforce data the same way you would from a relational database. In our case, 
we used a Viva connector uh, or the Viva instance of Salesforce for pharmaceutical data in order to connect to our Salesforce account data. Once you connect to Salesforce and create a script to load in your tables, you can add additional objects and create custom relationships, whether with Salesforce data or otherwise. And any time you reload your ClickView script, you will be pulling in the most up-to-date version of your Salesforce data. So now we're going to take a look at an example of a ClickView dashboard we have created that pulls in account and call information directly from Salesforce. So I'm going to turn it back over to Tom, who will walk you through extracting your data from Salesforce and exploring it in ClickView. Great. Thank you, Kelsey. For this demonstration, uh, I'm actually going to assume the role of a regional manager. So the report we're going to look at first will be showing us target and actual call data brought into ClickView from Salesforce. The goal of my analysis in this demo will be to determine which accounts are not meeting targets and therefore which account managers I need to talk with in order to make sure they can improve their performance. I'm going to switch over to the desktop version of ClickView right now. And just a quick note, this application is based on something that we built for uh, a UK-based client. So for those of you in the US who may see um, things like the percentages here are formatted similar to um, the way they are in the UK rather than the US, but that's just those numbers mean there. So the first thing I want to do, I know that we saw in the poll there are some people who are not ClickView users, so I want to walk quickly through the application itself and what you're seeing here on the screen. So the first thing you'll notice, this is kind of a custom layout that we create for each of our, our clients. So this is something we built internally then with our own branding. Um, we would go through this iteratively with our clients to have a layout that is consistent then across the different applications throughout their business. So it's very easy to come in and pick up any new application. You notice at the top here we have our tabs that we can switch through different sheets that have different information and we can go through one after the other. We'll look at a few others later today through other demonstrations, but we're going to focus specifically on the account calls versus target here, which is where all our Salesforce data is. Then on the left side, we have all of our filters and selection pane. So we have our current selections where everything, any filters that we make are going to appear here in the current selections area. We have a search bar where we can type any field or any member of a field to actually go in and, and uh, very quickly filter to that specific area. Then we have our clear and back and forward buttons for clearing selections and going back and forth with uh, similar to a web page based on the selections we've made. And then finally below that here we have a lot of our filters that we can use to actually filter the data specifically. So if for example within region I wanted to come in here and I wanted to select retail, we can see again this appears in the current selections here. This is then highlighted in green. And then the nice thing that ClickView does is A, it applies it to all of the different tabs. So as I drill through the different worksheets, I have the same filters applied. But if I go to something such as territory, I actually can see specifically the territories that are related to the filter I've already made, and it grays out the ones that are not applicable to that area. So it's very easy, very user-friendly and intuitive. This is kind of the uh, guided analytics that Kelsey was talking about. So then the last thing we have here in the center is where all of our charts are. Um, and here we're showing a trend chart over time of the target with the, the gray line here and then actual calls in the blue bars. And then below we're actually showing the detailed information in tabular form with some different formatting and stuff like that. And that's actually what we're going to focus on right now. But before I get into the actual data, I do want to show how the data is brought into ClickView. Kelsey mentioned the connector that you can download from uh, the Click website. And if you do that, I brought up the pane here where you can actually do your scripting and create your data model. And in the database area, there's actually the ClickView Salesforce connector that when, once you have downloaded it, it will appear here and you can click that and hit connect. And you'll get this screen where you can input your username and password as well as a security token you can get from your Salesforce admin. And then some additional information here. Fill out your options and then you would hit test connection and OK. But as you can see from here, I've actually already created a custom connect string, which is how we brought in all of this data from uh, Salesforce. So once that's done, you can then also hit select, and you can actually select the different tables and the different information you want to bring in from Salesforce that way. 
But as we've already done that, we're actually going to dive right into this information then. And uh, just to recap what I'm going to be doing here, I'm a regional manager who's going to be looking at the target and making sure that we can reach out to specific account owners to make sure that they can get their actual calls to meet the targets that we have. For this, the segments here are designated, the accounts are designated into segments based on their size as well as their relative importance to our business. With so segment A being the ones that are largest and therefore most important to our business. However, as you can see, it's also the one that is the farthest off of the target here. So if I was a regional manager or I was a segment manager, I'd, want to, I'd be a little concerned by this. So with Click View, I can actually come in here and select segment A. And maybe I want to focus specifically on the previously closed quarter. So we're going to be looking at quarter one of 2016. I can make a selection there. Another feature that Click View has is cycle groups. So with this, then, I can actually select this. And now I can break this out into months. And when I've done that now, I can see that March actually was the month that was the farthest off of target and the one that we need to be a little concerned about. And maybe we can see what happened then and then uh, make some adjustments going forward. I can use the same sort of cycle group down here to then cycle to the actual specialties. So we're breaking it out into a little bit lower granularity um, from the segment into specialty now. And I can focus specifically on which specialties uh, are the most far off target. And I can do that by double clicking on the calls versus target. And now I see at the very bottom here, we have the dental hygienist uh, specialty with pretty low uh, call versus target percentage. I can also see the same thing if I use these buttons here at the top to show a different chart. I can see now the exact same information, but in a chart form, in a bar chart rather than tabular. And I can again see the dental hygienist is very far off the target calls they needed to make. So with that then, I can select the dental hygienist. And I can again filter down, and now very quickly I can see that here we have the two accounts that are contributing to that within this segment, within that specialty, and I can see that account 70 is the one that is the, the one that is causing the problem. So as you can see, that very quickly I was able to drill down into very detailed information to get to the exact account level to know specifically for segment A in quarter one. And within the uh, dental hygienist specialty, account 70 is very far off target. And now with that, I can then go back to the manager of account 70 and I can say, you know, what happened in quarter one? Is there something we need to address? How can we get these numbers back up for uh, quarter two and going forward and try and remediate um, anything that may have happened during quarter one? I will now switch back to the PowerPoint um, just to quickly recap what we have here. So it's easy to connect to Salesforce in ClickView. As you saw, it's a very quick download and then just a quick little put in some credentials and you have your connection live there. Then you're able to actually pull from Salesforce time and time again uh, by refreshing the data and getting everything new and up to, to the minute from what's in Salesforce. With ClickView, there are a number of different visualization options available to you um, and more than what is available in Salesforce. You have things like dual access graphs, pivot tables, custom formatting, and all sorts of things that is available to you with ClickView. ClickView is set up for, to allow for guided analytics, as you kind of mentioned, with filters working across multiple sheets and cycle groups for drilling down into your information. And you also have added interactivity between the charts. As we saw, the selections I made on one chart affected the other chart. So if I selected a uh, segment, um, it would affect the, the chart on the top as well. And then you also have the additional ability to pull in additional data, which we'll talk to later. But now that we've seen how we can integrate Salesforce data into ClickView, I'm going to hand it over to Kelsey, who will now demo how we can do the alternate and embed that ClickView app back into Salesforce. Great. Thank you so much, Tom. So we've already explored how extracting tables from Salesforce into ClickView is a great way to enhance uh, visualize and analyze your data. But what happens when you want to share your findings with other people on your team or in your company? So the great thing about ClickView is that you can easily and seamlessly integrate your dashboard back into the Salesforce environment to be able to share it with others. As we've shown already, you can extract your data from Salesforce into ClickView via connector package available at click.com 
uh, but in order to share that dashboard with others, you will need to have an enterprise solution in place. By utilizing tools like the Click Server and Access Point, reports are located centrally and are easily accessible from anywhere when a user is connected to the network. This means that there's always one source of truth, and that limits the confusion that can arise when everyone is using separate reports which may not have the latest data or updates. It also eases the burden for development, as you can develop one report that can be utilized by a broad range of people by incorporating filters and security measures. With the server, it's also possible to set up automated reload schedules to make sure that your dashboards are always reporting the most recent data on a predictable schedule. If you have an enterprise click solution in place, integrating that dashboard into your Salesforce environment is as easy as embedding the link from your dashboard on Access Point into its own Salesforce tab. We'll show you how that works in our next demo. All right, so going into our next demo, I will be taking the role of a sales rep who's interested in tracking how I'm hitting my call targets. Uh, my sales manager, Tom, has done some analysis on ClickView Desktop to determine accounts that I am maybe uh, not hitting my targets for, and I want to ensure that I am hitting those targets going forward. So uh, we're going to jump over to Click Server now, where you can see I have already uploaded uh, our ClickView and Salesforce demo dashboard into Access Point, which is ClickView's uh, server hub for accessing all of your dashboards. So the distributed ClickView workbook has a unique link that we can use to embed the dashboard in Salesforce. You can see here on Access Point, I have the link to open my demo in the Click Server environment. And going over here, you'll see we're looking at the same exact dashboard uh, that Tom showed us earlier on desktop. However, uh, maybe we don't want to have to refresh our ClickView server every time that we want to view our dashboard. We want it all to be available to us in one easy to check space, uh, a kind of one-stop shop for your reporting needs. You're already doing uh, research on different accounts and planning your calls in your Salesforce environment, um, but maybe uh, you want to integrate that ClickView dashboard from Access Point into Salesforce as easily as it is uh, to view it on your desktop. So here you can see I have salesforce.com open. Uh, I'm on my home page where I've been uh, analyzing the different accounts and, and speaking with my regional manager, Tom, uh, to figure out what it is I need to do to really improve my, my sales or account calls to target. You can see up at the top of Salesforce, we've actually added in this custom tab uh, called Call Analytics ClickView. That is a URL embedded link to our ClickView dashboard, and I already have it open here in this tab. So you can see now that I've entered the Call Analytics ClickView tab, uh, and my dashboard, just the way it was in Access Point, just the way it was on the desktop, is open right here for me to use. So as Tom said, we were interested in looking at a particular account, account 70. So I'm going to go through my cycle group here. And the dashboard is refreshed back to what I want it to be. Uh, so Tom said we were looking at segment A, and the particular specialty was the dental hygienist specialty. So I can click into that, get right back to, to where I wanted to be with account 70. Now, I can see here the two accounts that are under this specialty for this segment, and that account 70 is indeed not hitting uh, its target calls, not just uh, for quarter one, but kind of overall here. So how can I uh, improve my calls to target? Well, uh, the nice thing about ClickView is that you also have the ability to include URL actions. So you can see here I have this account details page. Uh, that I can click into, and it'll open a new tab directly in my Salesforce environment that brings me to the account details page for account 70. So here I am, I'm on the account details page, and I as a sales rep can collect some additional information about this particular, uh, this particular account that I want to make a call with. So I can see a particular product list of all the different products that I might be bringing up in this call, but maybe I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I, I, I don't want to really talk about, you know, all 10 or so of these drugs. So uh, I'd really like to look at which ones uh, I haven't spoken about recently. So going back to my ClickView dashboard, I can cycle again to the particular uh, drugs here uh, that I am not uh, hitting my target for. Uh, and I can see for my particular account, account 70, uh, the two drugs that I maybe want to take a look at uh, where I have high targets, uh, but I'm not really hitting them, are uh, drugs 1342 and 1443. 
So now if we cycle back to that account, account 70 here, I can see I also have an additional URL action to be able to schedule a call with that particular account. Clicking that will open another tab still directly within my Salesforce environment that allows me to schedule a task. So I can say I want to schedule a call with account 70 right here, uh, and then I can pick the date that I want to do this, and uh, maybe I want to do this tomorrow because I want to get right on it and, and get us closer to our target here. Uh, and I can remember the, the two particular drugs or products that I wanted to touch here, um, and those two were uh, 1443 and 1342 here. So going back to my task, I can just plug in that information, uh, save that, and it'll also give me a reminder. You can see I've set up a reminder here. So tomorrow at 8 a.m., I'll have a reminder to make a call with Account 70 to get us closer to our target. So, as you could see from that demo, uh, it's really, really easy to bring ClickView back into your Salesforce environment to continue your guided analytics and actually make actions based on those, that analysis. However, uh, what if we want to bring additional data into our dashboard as well? What if we want to compare uh, across not just our account calls to target, but also sales data that exists in our SAP business warehouse? Well. We've already looked at how easily you can integrate your ClickView dashboard back into Salesforce to be able to share it with others. Uh, but if there is additional information we want to provide, uh, the great thing about embedding a ClickView workbook into Salesforce is that the additional data sources you can bring in to further your analysis uh, is extensive. With the ability to join data from your SAP business warehouse, as I suggested here, uh, Excel flat file, SQL Server, and many other sources, ClickView can help to enhance the analysis on top of what you could do with Salesforce data alone. So uh, for the purposes of our next demonstration, we're going to just take a high-level overview of sales data from our SAP business warehouse and look at a side-by-side -side comparison of call data to sales data in order to determine how hitting call targets could translate to sales further down the road. So let's jump back to our ClickView dashboard in Salesforce. And you can see up at the top that we already have a particular tab uh, called our dashboard tab where we've actually already integrated data from our business warehouse. So what I was just doing there was clearing the filter selection so that we can zoom out and get that high level overview. So going into our dashboard tab here, uh, you can see we have two panes of data now. Uh, on the left-hand pane, you'll notice a similar graph of actual calls versus target over time that we saw in the previous tab. But you'll also notice in the right-hand pane in green, we have our actual sales over time, which is data that we've brought in from our SAP BW warehouse. So this allows us to easily compare our call data to our sales data while remaining still in the Salesforce environment. I can see that while my calls are still far from target, my calls versus the previous year have increased dramatically by about 610%. Uh, and I also noticed that actual sales over the previous year have increased by 144%. So this correlation leads me to believe that maybe making more calls is associated with increased sales, which is a useful insight if we're trying to increase our calls to target. So as you can see here, uh, the ability to integrate additional data sources is a great benefit of embedding your Click Dashboard into Salesforce.com. It's really easy to see uh, data from any different data source that you want to bring in side by side with your Salesforce data to really enhance your analysis. So I'm going to turn it back over to Tom now, who's going to wrap it up for us here. Great. Thank you, Kelsey. Um, I do just want to reiterate, so we're kind of coming to the end, and um, we can possibly take a, you know, two or three questions or so. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to submit them in the chat pane as I wrap up. And then once we go through the, the final parts here, we'll try and get to some of those questions. A quick recap of today's objectives. So first, we showed how we can connect customer data from Salesforce into ClickView and then use the additional capabilities of visualization and interactivity and the guided analytics of ClickView to really explore and understand that data. 
Then we demonstrated the uh, seamless integration of ClickView back into Salesforce for sharing, and then the additional functionality we have with the, the URL links and things to be right within Salesforce um, and to actually take action off of the dashboards that we showed. And then finally, we showed the extended possibilities of integrating, in this case, sales data from SAP BW, but it could be any information, um, in with the Salesforce data to really see cross-platform analytics and get a, a, a really good understanding of your business and how the different things and the different areas play together. Here we've listed a few different areas that we can provide services to our clients. As I mentioned at the start, we are an end-to-end -end supplier capable of developing solutions across a wide range of technologies. We do work with our clients to actually outline strategy and design solutions. Then we can help them integrate their day-to-day -day business with proper training and user adoption. If you like this webcast and you're interested in learning more or you have some other technologies that you're interested in, I do have a few other events that we're hosting that you can register for on our website. There at the top, we have one coming up about trade profitability, and it's a webcast just like this. For those of you in the UK or who will be traveling to the UK, we do have a half-day seminar. It's our big uh, business intelligence and analytics update, but we're going to be exploring the need for agility in a rapidly changing business environment. For those of you in the US, we do have two workshops then at the end of the month, one in our uh, Jersey City office just outside Manhattan and the other one here in Center City, Philadelphia, where we're gonna be looking at a different type of cross-platform integration with Tableau and Teradata. And then finally, at the end of the month, we're going to be looking, again, at another webcast about, again, Salesforce and using it with the cloud. We also have a few other upcoming ones that aren't currently on the website for registering yet, but that you can look forward to, such as Anaplan, Click for the Enterprise, and then, again, another cross-platform uh, integration of Tableau and Microsoft. That actually does it for the majority of our presentation now. We're going to let everybody get a chance to submit your questions, and then we'll try and answer a few of them. If there is anything you have after the uh, presentation, feel free to reach out to either Kelsey or I. Our contact information is up on the screen, and we'll leave that up for, uh, for a little bit now while we look at the questions. And uh, you can feel free to email either one of us. So we have a few questions coming in here. Uh, the first question that uh, we'll take a look at today is, somebody has asked, uh, does embedding ClickSense work the same as embedding ClickView? So for those of you who are not aware, uh, ClickSense is ClickView's or Click's newest tool. Uh, it allows users to kind of take analytics into their own hands. It's, it's really a self-service tool that provides really nice, clean visuals for the users, and it's, it's got this more drag-and-drop-based functionality, so um, the unique visuals play like cards on your dashboard. Uh, ClickSense does, in kind of the short answer here, does have the identical functionality uh, as ClickView in being able to embed into Salesforce. However, it also has the additional uh, functionality of being a bit more modular, so um, you have the ability to embed a single chart as opposed to embedding your whole dashboard into your Salesforce environment. So we have another question that came in here. The user is asking, are ClickView dashboards available on the Salesforce One mobile app? Uh, so we actually are not sure of the answer to that, but we'll make sure to follow up with you. However, we do know that if you have HTML5, uh, you can access Salesforce through your browser, uh, and that embedded ClickView application uh, should show up on all of your mobile devices. So uh, regardless of whether you're using Android or iOS, accessing Salesforce through the browser uh, will include your ClickView embedded dashboard. Uh, we also have one last question here um, that we're going to be able to answer today, uh, and that is, uh, if I embed a ClickView dashboard into Salesforce, can everyone who has Salesforce see it? What we know about ClickView is that uh, the ClickView dashboard embedded into Salesforce is uh, a direct link to Access Point, which is your enterprise click solution. Um, so any kind of user distribution and, and section access where uh, you're giving users access to specific fields, say by region or uh, uh, country or a different category of product, that will all work uh, based on the Click Enterprise solution you have in place. So that's kind of a, a workaround way of saying the dashboard would only be visible uh, to those who have been granted access to the ClickView environment. Um, and the document, the dashboard in ClickView, would abide by the section access you already have in place. So any click security feature um, that you've got in place for section access uh, would work in your Salesforce environment. 
So one of the last things that we're going to do here today, um, any other questions that we have, we'll make sure to follow up with after the webcast closes. Um, but we do have uh, one more, we'll, we'll give one more throughout to answer the poll before we close it out. Um, we see that the majority of people have, but we'll just give it another, uh, another minute or so for anybody who has not answered yet to go ahead and answer that, uh, and then we'll be able to close out the poll. All right, great. Uh, looks like we have just about everyone. So we're going to go ahead and close the poll now. And that actually does it for our presentation today. Um, we don't see any more questions coming in, but again, uh, we do have our contact information here and on this screen as well. So you can feel free to reach out to either Kelsey or I if you do have questions after the webcast is over, if anything comes up from that. But with that, thank you all for joining us today. We hope you found this very useful, um, and we hope you can see now how integrating Salesforce with ClickView really can enhance your customer relationship management and uh, giving you some good insights into your information.